after coming here, uh, we realized there are so many other bright minds, and that's when you start listening to others. Earlier, we used to feel, well, I know the best, and whatever I know, that, that should be the right thing to do. So we'd like to talk more and listen less. But it made me a much better listener, right? And that helped me immensely. And also, it uh, helped me in giving respect to others much more, right? Whatever you say, I can now digest much uh, other viewpoints and take the best out of it. That is one of the most important lessons I got from here, which is of immense use in uh, my subsequent career. Next was the networking. Whether you realize this or not, after 25 years, you'll realize uh, when you have a network of friends, we are all well established all over the globe, but you are in touch with them. That gives you enormous power and enormous confidence. That, you know, wherever you go, because of this brand, uh, you are well respected. That you know, boosts your confidence like anything. You don't think twice before taking a decision. You have the confidence you can defend it. And most often than not, uh, you are right. And even at times when you are not right, you know how to tackle it, how to handle it. So you don't uh, succumb under, under pressure. Third thing I must talk about is uh, the certain uh, professors. I was very lucky to have them here. Uh, their seriousness in academics and their values helped me a lot you know, in taking a direction in my career, that what I should do, what I should not do. In a sense, I, would, uh, I was morally compelled that uh, there are certain things I am not expected to do. So if I do those, you know, I'll have a, a poor face. How can I meet them again? Because these people who are doing so much for me, I have a lot of respect for them, right? I think that helped me focusing my subsequent career objectives and staying where I wish to be. These are the three things I wanted to mention about IIT Kharagpur. It's a great place. I feel proud of it. <laughs>